just to buttress a bit more of President Anando Dankwe Kufuado's um, statement as it relates to the IMF, mm. um, Ghana presented an enhanced program to the IMF. The IMF is in this country um, primarily for a number of reasons. Mm. I think that um, there are six key indicators that uh, we are looking to achieve. I mean, beyond our balance of STEM budget statement reviews, we're looking into ensuring that our debts become sustainable over the long haul. Um, so that's one of our key major focus um, for the IMF program. The second really is for fiscal consolidation mm -hmm. for a number of um, our projects that we do in country economically. Um, the third is to strengthen our monetary and exchange rate policies. Um, you'll recall sometime as of last year, our CD was depreciating and the exchange rate was escalating in the hours. Now, the exchange rate has become credibly stable and stabilized. Um, and the Ghanaian CD is um, appreciated very significantly <coughs> against the global trading um, US Forex. And so the goal is to ensure that um, we strengthen the monetary and um, exchange rate policies. Um, the fourth really is to um, continue our efforts in building stronger financial institutions um, in the country. The faith for us is to make sure that we have strong macro critical structural reforms. Mm -hmm. And as we look into the peace and stability of the sub-region of West Africa, um, issues that happen in Sudan and um, um, all of the other issues, um, uh, we want to be able to ensure that we invest um, heavily mm -hmm. in um, peace and security. Um, Peace is um, quite expensive. Yeah, right. And if you take that for granted, then you have yourself to blame. And the final thing why we have IMF in country is to ensure that we constantly have the economic growth and transformation. So the IMF program has come in to protect the lives and livelihood of um, the vulnerable and the poor people. Um, I can appreciate that um, there are calls for reviews of um, our government's policies. Um, obviously, I mean, definitely any any government with its salt at various um, challenging times would want to uh, review some of um, their policies. But I'm in no doubt in my mind that um, the policies that we have sought to put in place from 2017 up until date has not just um, become President and other Danko Kufuado's policies, but it's become a civic responsibility for the Ghanaian people. Why do I say so? There are various stages within which policy implementation goes through. The first is that the political party will bring out the policies. Should they win election, then it becomes the government policies. And then when the Ghanaian people begin to buy in and, um, and appreciate and understand it and live by it in terms of ethos, then it becomes a civic That's responsibility yeah. for the Ghanaian people, which means that it would outlive your government. Yeah. One of them is free SHS, overwhelmingly supported by the Ghanaian people, industry players. Um, when you go to various rural communities, you can see the impact of free SHS and how people who otherwise would not have had an opportunity um, to go to senior high school now do have an opportunity. I have some friends who recount every time that anytime they go to their villages, um, they come back with tears. And the reason is that whilst they were young and they were in high school, some very brilliant people did not have an opportunity to go to high school because their parents didn't have money. President Nanado Danko Kufuano has made that a possibility where now young people are off the streets because they can go to free SHS. It's the doing of President Anadu Danko Kufuado. And so if Ghanaians are asking for a review of it, sizable part has been actualized. It's become a civic responsibility for the Ghanaian people and the roadmap has been set in place. Um, one district, one factory, yeah. in terms of um, industrializing the Ghanaian economy, um, we've put that in place. We've built well over 100 plus um, factories in country which has also become a civic responsibility because government created that enabling environment to ensure that private sector strives. 